Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to a new collaboration for 2023. It is called Crack the Vault 2023 collaboration hosted by Poet Spice here on YouTube. Everyone that's participating will be in the description box. Please click on it and see what they have created. So for this collaboration, we post on the third Friday of every month at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what we do, we're going through our collection our stash and we're finding things that we haven't used in six months or never used so um got that part i have some things i haven't used i want to use so i'm going to share with you what i've used and what i've done and then i'll share with you the end project so i haven't used these things in a while probably longer than six months um but this little flower rose dye I really like and this also I had got these back when I was buying a lot of dyes off of Aliexpress a long long time ago and this love one I think it's from Aliexpress or either um, peachy cheap because I had bought some peachy cheap dyes back when they first started doing dye stuff so that that and then this layering dye using these two little dye hearts I used I used this paper studio heart um embossing folder had never used that and i used this one but it's been over a year now i believe which is a crafters companion 3d embossing die called chantilly lace so these are the things that i use and these are the things that was produced with that so you got these little trails of hearts right here we have more hearts here I don't think love is in the air yet, but it could be. And then, so I used the die cut, made this here. If you run it through and you have some thin paper, you can actually poke holes. These little um, embossed pieces will fall out. Not on purpose, though. It's a paper thinner. And then I used these. And I didn't, I made these and I didn't get a chance to use it because when you see the project, you'll say, oh, okay, I understand why. Um, well, maybe not because I don't understand why. But anyway. And then the word love and then these um, flowers so this is what it looks like and on white paper this would be good you could just even if you want to do a multiple layers you could cut this piece off and do this in a green and then layer it on top so you could cut the whatever color you use cut that off and just put this red on top of the green piece without doing a bunch of stuff and your this piece will be thicker because you'd have the the whole entire green piece on top of that. And then love looks like this. So I'm in a local die cutting, excuse me, a local stamp, a local card making group. And on the third Thursday of every month, we swap cards. And for this month's card swap, it was, can you guess, with all the things that I've used, monochromatic colors and galentine and are a thank you with heart theme so i made this now i struggled but this is what i made i the only thing you can use is cream of white for the writing piece i also probably cheated here because it just looks so plain and i think the thing is i used too much of a bold color red but here we are this is what i created and I think it looks okay and then I just used this little gem I was using art glitter glue and my art glitter glue is not working it's super runny and it created some chaos for me in a few spots so I had to go back to my old faithful Aileen tacky glue and most of these little hearts are the same but you'll see I had to pull out a big one because the glue was running which is not good so I have to make five cards and I don't know what's going on with this glue. I got really frustrated with the glue, so I only did five. Even though I cut out multiple pieces, that you can see I have extras for a future project. But this is what I have created. Please click on the description box and see what the other people in a collaboration have made. I want to say thank you all for watching. And until next time, happy crafting.